Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're back again. I fixed a ton of shit. Um, I also made a automation clip on the uh, BPM. So I'll go through everything that I changed and added and everything. So you're not worried. This is kind of just like an update thing of what I've done. Because for some reason, I can get a lot more things done when I'm not recording or whatever. So here's what I did. First off, I added a piano. I just pasted the chords, but took out took out the middle parts and then the next sent the first notes of it. So this is what the these sound like. And then it just has a filter. I'll show you what's on it. Um, let's see. There we go. Okay. So it has a reverb on it and a filter, and the filter is just for right at the beginning. I I don't know if I'll be using it later in the song, but just so you know, uh, the filter uh, is right there on the bottom, uh, just to build up at the beginning. And then I added this. I think what is this even? I forgot. Oh, it's a little pad. These are all Nexus, by the way. Nexus is the first, the first pad, the third pad. Um, so this is just the chords again, except. I just took the first note and dragged it out. And I thought that went really well with the piano, so that's what I did. And then I added an ARP because I wanted to. This is Nexus once again, uh, arpeggio from Nexus. Here you go. I think this is also the chords, but I kind of messed with the notes a little more. I thought that sounded really cool. Uh, so all those mixed together. And then I fixed the vocals. Guys, I fixed the vocals. Wow. Here you go. Here are the vocals. It's pretty much just a lead, but I changed uh, the, the sample that I used around for it. And if you're wondering what the heck that was, that was just... Uh, let's go to our cock slayer here. Uh, I added a glitch to it. Uh, it's just a reverser. On okay. Uh, so that's the reverser on there. Um, it sells a kickstart and a reverb and a camel crusher on it. Just to make it sound a little bigger. Um, and then I chopped it kind of into bits here. Uh, you'll hear it. Um, yeah, I'll just play it. Let me kind of explain. It's filtering up to uh, the vocals are filtering up uh, to this main part. Um, so you'll hear the vocals go dun 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 that kind of thing going on. to fix the filter a little bit there but uh so here's what's happening with that bpm okay so the bpm starting here i try to get as close to 174 as i can because that's what i'm working with here obviously it's 174 so um but as you see down here it starts at 123 and it kind of slowly brings itself up to 174 uh kind of jumps right at the last second there but so all you do to do that i just did that because if you have a piano going at 174 in the beginning, it doesn't really sound like an intro, right? So it kind of just sounds like a really fast piano going. Uh, so I figured if I just put the BPM down, it'll sound more like a chill intro. Um, yeah, and then I just transition the BPM back up to 174 um, for the buildup. So all you do to change your BPM throughout the course of the song is right click on the BPM, create automation clip, I've already done that. I will show you where it is. It is this tempo envelope right here. Um, and then you kind of just play around with it and make sure you keep checking up here to see what it is. So it starts at 123, which is kind of random, but it, it fits um, for the piano. And then you see it kind of dips up here uh, and you can see the numbers moving up there. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was really nice. I'll play the intro for you. So this is what I have now for the intro.
Beautiful. Okay, and you see here, I when I switched to the piano back at 174 BPM, I kept the vocals underneath it. I just put a sweep and an uplifter there. A lot of sweeps and uplifters kind of happening here. And then right uh, kind of the last half of the bar, sort of-ish, um, I filtered in the chords just so it... I don't know. It, I don't know. It's it's something different Heaven does uh, in... Um, in even better that song it's amazing you should go listen if you haven't you've probably heard it you probably heard it man or yeah so um it doesn't sound exactly like that obviously because it's different and it's a lot better but uh yeah i kind of just i like the sound of that just kind of having a little section of it here and then it's lagging out a little bit but i was kept trying to make this as smooth of a transition as possible being as i'm adding a kick and snares and um, a build and everything, so. Yeah, and all I do for build ups usually uh, is just really simple. You just get some snares, really. And then I just put them here so they were short uh, and kind of punchy, so. Uh, yeah, uh, you just make like a four thing of snares and then you go up each bar and then every once in a while change it up. You can't really hear that because it's filtering up those snares, which always sounds nice. Um, but then you just kind of put it, you split it in half every couple bars. So like you see from four, like I all I did was split it in half. And then for these ones, when they got up there, I just split it in half like and then kept building it up so uh, there's that build and um, uh, I didn't really add anything else I uh, I fixed up these like I put more what did I put on the bass actually hold on for the bass I put a camel crusher on it but I put it really low over here uh, just because I like the sound of that bass and I wanted it to pop out more and then the chords I fixed as well, wherever they went. There they are. I don't remember what I did. <laughs> um, I think I just put a sausage fattener on them. Um, I was just really trying to make them a little bit bigger than they were before. They're filtered right now, obviously, but uh, before they weren't as big, so I'm happy with that. Um... Yeah, uh, that's all I did for the intro. I think it's a really great kind of chill intro. And then I'm going to fix up this kind of uh, kind of introducing the vocal part. I'm going to clean up a little bit. And then we have our drop already. So then we can start on this section. So it'll be fun. It'll be real fun. <laughs> I'll just do the whole thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Uh. Let's see. Is there, uh, maybe I'll just take. I'm just gonna take the. Uh, the reverse off of that section there and I will show you how to do that so as you see uh, I have a glitch on it here right here uh, so if you ever want to like kind of control how much you're getting out of a effect uh, via automation clip you just right click over here um, and hit create automation clip and then so you'll see that little deep blue glitch uh, plug in automation clip so we will turn it all the way down for here, but then we'll put it back up uh, for when the actual part comes. So now there will not be a reverse on this. Maybe, uh, maybe it should filter out the vocals. So I'm gonna put a there. Not damn much.
this up a little bit more. I didn't mean to go all the way over there. Sounds good. Uh, so yeah, now that we overviewed everything, we can continue working on this next episode. So I will see you next time. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Uh, really, really appreciate everybody's uh, feedback and support. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.